about the uh, limitation, limitations on the freedom of Thai students. It's for around eight minutes. The uh, Chong Jeff Russo said that a man is born free and everywhere he is shaped. He's in chains. So today I'm going to present you that in some places the chain is strong. So this is a picture or an article about uh, is it in Dutch. It's about how a Thai guy became a became a star in a festival season. Do you recognize this boy? I guess you don't recognize this as me. And then this slide is about my translation and my transformation during a year of a change in the Netherlands. Slowly see the growth of my hair. And fine. And this is Next slide is about my first day in time. Wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's yeah. But so it was actually the view was kind of shock for me, and I realized that there is, there are limitations on freedom of our Thai students. This picture is a really great example of Thai students. They all have the same haircut, they all have the same uniforms, they are all the same. They are all actually the same. They are told that uniform and haircuts are the symbol of uh, uniformity, obedience, and uh, yeah, to be uh, con conformity. In contrast with my friends, my dust friends, they are completely different. You can really see them. They had the, the dress, they're not they're completely different. And the dressing style and the hair are the symbol of individualism, the freedom of expression and creativity. Yeah, let's talk about the free time. The free time return of people, they're so typical that I students I just go like going through the dealer center like down the brain, the bio beam, can be cool. Yeah, we all go through this yeah, dealer center. And we don't really have free time that much. Because academic skill in Thailand is so kind of like the best thing that we should do. On the other hand, in the Netherlands, people just do other skills like cooking, art, and arts. And also practical skills such as uh, wood carving, working on farms, and commentary. I appreciate all this stuff because they have a lot of free time. They have a lot more free time. They can really explore themselves, explore their hobbies and interests. As my experience, uh, the student there they don't just study like in a school, they also work in their free time. Because in a certain period of time, their parents just stop giving them money. Just like, you they got, they got it online, you can stay in my house, my house, and then they have to work. So they, they have to work their, with their part time job. Now they really have to manage, manage their own life, their own money. All of it. So they got their own self responsibility. And suddenly, yeah, in Thailand we have to go. And suddenly they meet they meet, they meet all of you, lots of different people from different backgrounds. That creates tolerance. And it creates openness of people in the Netherlands. They can really talk about anything, really anything about sex, drugs. But in Thailand we can talk about we can we can really talk about everything. I can't really talk about it now. Yeah. So came to the problem that people ask us a lot what do you want to be when you, when you grow up? We can't really answer it completely because we don't know who we are we don't have any identity we don't have any personality we don't have any chance to 
show express our ourselves. I came back here to feel like it was taken away. 